Hey YouTube, it's me. I'm back. Um, my hair's still blonde. It's actually growing out my sides. When did I cut my hair? I think a week or two, a week and a half ago. No, about two weeks ago I think I cut my hair. Regard, no. April 5th or 4th is when I did the big chop. Uh, I think I have cut it since then. The sides, I do believe. Um, no, I haven't. I take that lie back. I have not cut my hair. Um, so I don't plan on trying to cut me. I want it to grow out. So that's why the sides look kind of thick. Um, I re-bleached my hair last night and tried some new products. It's a girl I follow on Instagram. I just recently started following her, so I don't know her name. Um, off the top of my head. But she was using these products. And then the company that makes these products, I've used their products when I was relaxed years ago. So, let's just jump into it. This is called Care Care. Casey by Care Care Curl Essence brand. Got this at Sally's. All the products I'm about to show you are about $6.99 at Sally's. Or at least my Sally's. Um, this is a moisturizing co-wash. All the products have Jamaican black castor oil and coconut oil. They all say that they are for hair types three to four. Uh, if you've watched previous videos, my hair has a combination of 3C, 4A, and 4B. So pretty much I'm like 3C, then 4A, and then up in my crown area is about a 4B because that's the driest and hardest area. But these products right here... Number one, smell amazing. I smell like candy or a cupcake or I I I think the other products for relaxed hair smell are similar, but this right here. So when I bleached my hair yesterday, because I'm trying not to bleach it as often, but I do know I don't like when I have the dark roots and then the blonde ends. Um so I bleach it so, you know, um, it all looks nice, you know. Um, and normally when I bleach my hair in the past, it was different products that I would use to try to keep my hair moisturized. But it seemed like because my hair is naturally dry, it just sucks the moisture up. So I'm like, what the hell is going on? These products right here, I have no gel on my hair. Look at them curls. And this is all just from the product. There is no gel. My hair naturally, whether it's short or long, if I have enough hair to curl, when I get in the shower, wet my hair, after rinsing the conditioner out, my curls look just like this. And I usually put gel in it to hold the curl because, of course, humidity and the weather will have you looking like a little frizz ball. But this is my hair. And I've been planting it, scratching my hair. And, going th and look at the curls. So... I normally never also wash the residue out of my hair um, when I bleach it. I'll bleach it and then rinse it out, tone it, rinse it out, proceed to deep condition, rinse it out, style. I know it's residue still on my hair. And I mean, not physical residue you can see, but I know I should have shampooed and cleansed out any leftover that is unseen. So I use this OMG. This co-wash was like the bomb. They do have a shampoo, but I didn't want to get the shampoo because they got like six products. So I just got the um, moisturizing co-wash. OMG. My hair felt so moisturized. And I like usually when I bleach my hair, like I said, it don't feel, even if I put a conditioner in it, when I, once I start rinsing it out, it still feel kind of funny. No, it felt soft. So then, while I was in the shower, because after I toned my hair, I just rinsed the toner out while I was in the shower. I co-washed. And then I used, um, I don't know if I said it, the shampoo has a pH. I mean, the co-wash has a pH of 5.5. The moisturizing conditioner has a pH of 5.0. They're all, these two products are both 12, ounce, 12 ounces. Put like this much in my hand, put the conditioner all over, let it sit, took a shower, well, you know, washed up, did all the other good stuff, let it sit, rinsed it out. I was like, OMG, this here, this here, in my Kevin Hart voice. I'm not Kevin Hart, ooh, he's gonna be mad. Cat Williams voice. Um, 
this shit right, right, I was like, oh, it's like crack, and I just love the way it smell. So after I got out the shower, you know, I um, proceeded to use this product next called the Moisturizing Cocoa Water. This has a pH of 5.0. Now, this is different. This, I'm going to tell you what it says on the back. It says, cocoa water is better than water. Features Jamaican black castor oil and coconut oil to lock in amazing moisture, leaving your hair soft, manageable, and healthy. When you re-wet drying hair, this revolutionary spray is infused with emollients and humectants to add even more moisture and a nice sheen along with every spray as you style. Helps prevent hair from frizzing and enhancing curl definition. So basically, I got the shower last night after using a cold wash and a um, moisturizer shampoo. I sprayed my whole head with this, even the sides. And sprayed it real good because my hair best works when I'm putting products after shampoo and conditioning when my hair is soaking wet. Even though I don't have a lot, but it still has to be soaking wet. Then I proceeded to use the Moisturizing Curl Activator, which has a pH of 6.5. Now, the other product they have that I don't have because I bought four of the six is a Moisturizing Curl Cream. And I was like, Curl Activator Curl Cream. If you look at it, they all still creamy. So what's the difference? So I wasn't going to get two of the same similar product. So now this, I was a little bit more generous because I wanted to make sure I got my size. I wanted to make sure I moisturize because when I cut my mohawk from here to here and then when I cut it all off I left enough um when I bleached it blonde I left enough to where I still had some curl this right here wonderful took a you know a nice amount rubbed it in my hair all over rubbed the sides and then because I know how my curls curl I do my hand like this. Even back in videos previously when I was doing the locking method with the sponge, I have to do the sponge this way. So I just put this product in my hair and go like this. And I'm going like this now. There's Look at that. No frizz. Let me tell you. I think this line right here, until I lock my hair back up, and I might even still use this once I'm fully locked to and moisture as far as um just you know wash shampoo on my hair or condition it and i will probably use this as a refresher or to you know just put some moisture on my locks these four products right here i will continue to use they are a staple after just using it a day this morning i woke up getting ready for work um because i know i spray a generous amount so before i wash my face because i know it's gonna run all down my face I sprayed my hair real good, rubbed it in, used a curl activator to lock in the liquid moisture, you know, the LOC method, liquid and cream. I don't necessarily have to use an oil because guess what? Jamaican, black, castor oil, and coconut oil are in every product. So that was a good thing. That was a step I had to leave it. So I would guess I would use the... LC method. There's no O because all these products have Jamaican black castor oil and coconut oil and you know Jamaican black castor oil in itself is a thick oil whether it's the dark oil or if you so <clears throat> or whatever color you get it depend on what brand name you purchase. Um, so I didn't need any oil. My hair does not feel greasy but guess what throughout the day today I just kept going like this I was like oh my god because when my hair is blonde it don't feel this soft. I'm like, oh my God, my hair just feels so freaking soft. I'm like, I was like, and it just smells so good. I was like, these products here is what I'm using as my hair grows out. Um, I may get the shampoo in the event just to put moisture. Because I do know if any of you watch Damien Walter's videos, you have to cleanse your scalp moisturize especially if you want a healthy head of locks whether you have no color in your locks to where either you have bleach or color in your locks you want to cleanse all the dirt out and then you want to 
strip, you know, strip, get all the dirt stripped out. And then you want to put moisture back in your hair. And then you want to use whatever product you're going to use to retwist a lock, whatever the case may be. So, I, um, yes, these products here, uh, I will be going to Sally's to probably stock up. I don't normally buy doubles of product. Because I figure, you know, I might find something different. But because my hair is blonde and I plan on keeping it blonde even when I go to locking, I am going to need some product to keep moisture. Now, I did purchase before these the week prior. I think last week I purchased the, um, maybe even two weeks ago, the Design Essentials. The original, um... I think it was the honey and oat. I purchased them. I didn't purchase the cleansing shampoo. I purchased a moisturizing shampoo and a stimulating conditioner. So those are the only two products I purchased. Um, and I like those. And those I know Damien also uses in locks. So I, again, that I will keep as well when I go back to lock in. I might incorporate both brands, the Design Essentials and the Care Care. But these products for right now is are my staples just based on the moisture it is providing me i know everybody's hair is different but i say if you bleach your hair a lot or if you're currently a blondie go to your local sally's it might be in the beauty supply my beauty supply here in florida i have not seen it in the one that i visit normally but i've seen it in sally's and it might be because i wasn't looking for it and you know sally's doesn't have you know a huge ethnic sec way they depend on what sally's you at the ethnic section, you know, section may be big or not, but it happened to be where the uh, main choice products were. And I was like, oh, let me, I seen this. The girl just did this on Instagram. Let me try it because I was going to get some main choice. And I'm like, let me try this. 13 14 15 $17 a bottle and you only getting eight ounces and I'm paying six ninety nine for 12 ounces. Let me go ahead and get this. I'm glad I made that choice opposed to getting the main choice. Even though I've used main choice before, this right here, Holy Grail. Do people even do Holy Grails anymore? But these four products are part of my Holy Grail. And like I said, when I go, whenever I transition back to locking, because that is the goal, um, I have to have enough hair to twist because I do believe I am going to do the two strand twist method like I did on the last set before I cut them off. Um I want to say what's today? The 19th of April. Well, no, it's in the middle of the night, so it's the 20th of April. 420. Ooh. Mm. Mm, it's 420. Hmm. Anyway, um I'm thinking my birthday's in September. On the 8th. So I'm thinking. All of June, July, August. That's three months. All of May, four months. So I'm thinking maybe September. I don't like. um Odd days or odd numbers. I don't know why. I've been like that my whole life. So I do believe. If I lock. Not if. Let me rephrase what I want to say. When I lock my hair. If it is going to be, I hate this calendar. September 2nd is on a Monday. So if I lock my, when I lock my hair, I will have exactly four months and a week of hair growth. Because it'll be all of May, June, July, August. May, June. Yeah, so I will probably lock my hair right before my birthday. So that way... I have a fresh set of locks. I have enough length. And again, they will um, be blonde. This type of blonde. So I will probably, hopefully, depending on the schedule, the week before I lock, have did a retouch. Or maybe a couple of days before I did a retouch. Then go ahead and lock them up and have blonde locks. And keep the Design Essentials and Care Care in my arsenal as far as moisture because my hair is bleached. Uh, and I've been watching a couple of other Instagrammers and YouTubers that 
started their locks with platinum this color blonde hair and continue as their hair grows they do touch-ups on the roots to make everything all blonde so i haven't seen the products they use to keep it moisturized but i know right now what's working for me is this line the kc by care care curl essence so i'm going to continue to use those um just want to let you guys know i'm still blonde i have not cut my hair i just rebleached it and found some great products so again everybody's hair type is different but again these have at least a 5.0 ph and higher they work at least for my hair uh again you never know what's going to work for you until you try so you can't say well we don't have the same curl type you got three different curl types okay everybody do nobody unless you come straight from the motherland everybody got something in them mixed so you're not going to have the same curl pattern every section of your hair is not going to be the same because my curls in the back are tighter than the curls in the front when i lock my hair the f bottom two rows lock faster than anything in my hair i don't know why just those two rows completely locked within like a month or two months they're completely locked i can't do anything and i have to really when I pick them out, pick at them really, really good because they're fully like everything else. I can kind of just use the comb and comb it out. No, that one I got to use a rat tail comb and dig at them because my curls are different. So, again, your local Sally's or Sally's that is in a more of an ethnic area because we ha they have more products. Six ninety nine. And they're all, this one is 16 ounces. So not bad for 16 ounces, $6.99. And it's nothing but liquid, but it works. So you go get yours, YouTube. Uh, thank you to my new subscribers. Thank you to my old subscribers. And again, the content on my page is just to share with you my journey, what I'm going through, whether it be with my hair, my personal life at work. I don't know if I talked about it at work. I applied for a different position back um i want to say march 14th 15th on the 7th of march i submitted my application or that i want to you know interview for the position a week later i interviewed for two weeks after that i was offered the position it's taken now three weeks for us to get for me to get transitioned over but i start um on tuesday so i'll be working tuesday through saturday sunday monday off so this weekend because my current work week goes from Sunday to Sunday, Sunday to Saturday, and I had Tuesday, Saturday off. I have a three-day weekend, so I'm going to enjoy myself. But anyway, you guys go get your care care and test it out and tell me if you try to tell me if it works for you. You all have a good night and a great Easter.